What is up guys, have a very fun deck for you today. Today we're returning to pirates because we got some new support in the form of croc and crate. Okay, so we're giving two armor to three pirates or ships in our hand, which is nice. Give them a little bit of extra protection. And we got this extra little ability when we play a pirate or ship next to croc, damage it and the lowest power enemy unit by each other's power. This can actually be somewhat decently strong. Um when they're playing engines and you have like you know some tide cloak hideaways where when your cards get damaged you can boost them right back up it can be pretty strong in the right circumstances but regardless i mean giving armor to kind of protect some of these weaker engines such as your diamond corsairs not too shabby uh, it's also seven power and then it does have the pirate tag a lot of synergies but yeah the rest of it we're just running ships and pirates um, I guess some interesting things about this one is because it's mostly almost exclusively pirate tags. I'm not doing the Herald here or um, Blood Eagle because Blood Eagle pulls Warriors. We just don't have a whole lot of those. And then Herald just, I mean, he's not getting a lot of pings because we're playing pirates. So I cut them because we're doing that. It's like, well, let's just throw in a Neuromancy, right? Nothing else is Devotion. Might as well. It's actually going to be able to tutor stuff. And then we're doing a little Lambert Swordmaster here. Um, because Swarm is still kind of a thing. You're seeing like triple commandos show up. So he can get some crazy good value. But yeah, we're basically just playing a whole bunch of pirates. Um, good engines, good removal. Can keep some points on your side. Um, pretty decent. So yeah, there's kind of the, uh, the overview of the deck. We are running Onslaught here. Kind of help get some blood thirst and just kind of kill some units. Kind of seems to work the best with this. Maybe sit in Big Wild War of the Sea. And we got Crystal Skull to protect an engine early on. So yeah, there's the deck. And uh, let's hop into the games. Okay. Pride is all okay. we've left. Got a lot of options here. Could just be normal elves. Could be elves with a movement package. Or they could be doing the new Eldane with all the traps. They're going to put a bunch of Elven Dead Eyes down and they're going to hit us with the Melee Vernacial. Okay, we need to push with something here. I got a good combo there. I'd like to see this. Uh, this isn't super great. We'll kick that. And I think we'll kick one of these. Alright. Um. Get a Neuromancy here for Holger. Or Holger. As is their current theme, I can never pronounce cards correctly. Okay, we're, we're, we got traps. We got traps. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's pull. Let's pull Holger here. Let's get a Neuromancy out before, I, just in case they played a crushing trap. No, sorry, pitfall trap. Uh, what am I looking for here? There it is. I'll play it melee. Remember, when you're going against Scoyotel, I favor the melee row just a little bit. But, round three, you're going to start favoring the range row because. Um. Gezras, so. Um. I guess we just kind of play this as a throwaway, because that's going to be incinerating trap. You shan't get three. And uh, guys, remember to use your leader. Remember to use your leader. <laughs> it's the, it's the bad thing about those cooldown ones. You just forget sometimes. Man, we're seeing some cards here you normally never see. Mmm, tasty. Tasty, tasty. Okay, so now let's get some pain coming in. I guess we should try and maximize bleed value. Nice little synergy there. Okay, so next, probably Tide Cloak Hideaway, boost that up some more. Get lots of good pings shooting out. Well, there you go. There's Bowman. Fortunately, we can't do anything about it. Uh, but we boost it right back up. Look at that. It's not called value. Oh, 
Look at this. Okay, we're getting a lock coming out. Love to see it. I doubt they have too Your many locks. Hopefully a lot of other stuff to live. Um, We could just go ahead and play another one. I think we'll drop the raiders first. Yeah, I guess we'll play it up here. We'll drop raiders first. Burn the home, fell the trees, and it's uh, I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if you yeah, gave us more bloodthirst. And honestly, the bloodthirst really doesn't matter. We already have the one. Okay, it could be another incinerating. could be a row one. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm harping so much on bloodthirst. I guess because of the leader. <laughs> um, let's see. That, I don't want to stack that row now because that could definitely be for it. So I guess we just play this. Okay, I did not activate that. We'll go here. Go here. Go here. I'm just keep, in case I have to drop a mortar bar, keeping that up. But I mean, we're killing in points now, and there it's uneven. We're in a really good spot here. Uh, and I actually played this. I should have put that right beside the Holger. Because we could get extra bleeding. Customer is king. Okay, do we play another one? I mean, if we pass here, we go up a card. And that's pretty handy, right? But we could go up a card another way and maybe flush something out. So I think. Honor and glory! I probably should have put it over there. That's actually wasting some bleeding. Not thinking too well here. As has been my current trend recently. I don't know why. Just gotta. When you go to these matchups, just before you click something, just five seconds ago, should I be clicking this? Is there anything else? It can save you so much trouble. And it can be, it obviously just leads to more efficiency, right? And those matches where you lost by one point, and you realize if you'd been a little more efficient with stuff, you would have won it. It's pretty rough. And the reason why I keep talking about Mork Park here is because I don't think he's going to have too many boosted units. I mean, he might have another one later. But, like, you go up against Skellige, right? Unless it's, like, Druids, you know, Spalblood Priest type stuff. But if it's, like, Warriors or even, you know, this Pirate list, you're probably not going to have too many super boosted units, right? So they drop that first card into Crystal Skull or whatever. You can just Mork Bar. That's probably Horn, isn't it? I don't know if... I guess... Here, we'll go this. We'll lock this scout. Uh, hit it when they run. We'll kill this. Cause that that's uh horn, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got Vernaciel out. Love to see it. Aim between Time for you to die. Leave none Do alive. Okay, so I guess we just pass here. Um Horn gets it for him. But I mean we fleshed out quite a bit of good stuff. Right, let's look at these trades here. Yeah, I mean, we can't be too mad with that. Um, we could just play this, but we could also have a target later. I don't know, do we want to flush that out? Flush that out and go for the 2-0? I think so, honestly. Storm! 
I think we just try and push for the 2 0 because we want interactivity. And this trap thing, like the round three, they they can play no traps at all. I've had it happen with, er, no trap. They can play only traps, no units at all. And this hurts in our deck so much. We might just go for the 2 0 here if we can. Time for you to die, Duan. Or just flush out leader. For the daisy of the valley! <laughs> oh, shoot. Blue Mountains! So we pass the horn pops for eight. So he goes up to. Oh my gosh, my brain just shut off. Okay, 41. My brain completely just shut off there. We would have it. I don't know if we want to commit that, though. Should we commit that, though? Alright, whatever. We'll do that. Go here. We'll just go here. Go here. Yeah. Okay, we'll go in for the 2 0. I hope this is the right call. I mean, if he only gets like traps, this could be phenomenal. We still have some decent stuff left. I mean, uh, this is terrible. Okay. Sure. Let me go in. I mean, worst we can do is lose here, right? <laughs> worst here we can do is just lose the whole entire game. Alright. Onward, fry head! Um. I guess we'll just go ahead and use that. Just make sure we get the value. We'll see what we want to end Neuromancy for is the last thing. Uh, could just be like an invader just for six points. Um, go tier V. Trick V. He's got a trap. Oh, he forfeits. There we go. Push worked. Push worked. Pull that one out. Yeah, that guy way over committed round one. Take notes. Don't do what he did. Like, get out of there. If the tables start turning, he just kept going in. He doubled down when he shouldn't have. Okay. Skelliger's glory. Probably still killed Tolus. I guess they just can't abuse Siri Dash as much. Of course, we don't even have the best answer for it. Okay, we're going against monsters. You gotta watch out for things like Pred Dive. Um. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna catch Swordmaster here. Do I want to. I mean, I guess I could. Ah, I don't. Okay, I need some pirates here. Alright, well. I want the hideaways to be decent. So, let's just drop this first. Then we'll go on crate longship, get it with the crystal skull, and we'll kind of play from there, see what happens. Okay, well. This here. Yeah, no Neuromancy here or um like a Neuromancy to pull hole, like something that kinda really help us push here a little bit. Not I shouldn't say push to like really just stay in the chance. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here.
Do I even bother trying sinking into that? I mean, I guess we could work towards killing it. This also might be a just get out early. Alright, so let's go hideaway. Nothing rivals skinning a unicorn. Their hair was so silky. Nice, look at that value off of it. When you bloodthirst two, we can damage it by three with the two from here. So we'll get one more charge into that. shut this off first but I think we might be getting out now um put it on the veiled unit put it on the veiled unit Okay, here's, here's the tough part. Do we just go ahead and get out now? Or do we keep playing? So we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4 damage for that next turn. I think we're just going to go ahead and get out now. I guess he could just pass here. No, because my bleeding went proc. So he does have to play. Okay. Wait a second. Is that a tech card for a purify? A little expensive. Are we seeing some kind of tricky vampire thing? They are devotion, so we gotta keep that in mind when considering stuff like Heat Wave. Okay, that could come in real handy. I guess Dry Pass card. So Wild War of the Sea gonna be good here? Not really. They don't they play typically pretty tall. That's not very good. Okay. Okay. I mean I guess we do have movement. But they're playing it rain. Oh, you know what? This is probably the death wish spam thing. Yeah, okay, so. We're, we're going to lead with him, because we're getting ready for a fight. The heart of an Let's give armor to him. Him. And I guess you. I, I probably should have used leader there, but we're just hitting armor. Might get lucky with something. Yeah, okay, so here's Death Wish. Oh, whoa, ho, ho. Okay, so we need to lead here. I'll snap your neck and make best. That's pretty decent value, though. I mean. Actually, this is like the first time I ever actually got to use that ability. Because I'm either putting him on the wrong row, or it just kind of for the armor. Okay, okay, shoot. Um. Holy cow. We gotta do something about that. We can't lock it, unfortunately. We can't give it bleeding. I guess we just go for pure damage. It's kind of our hope here. Mm. 
He gets another one down. We're in trouble. Playing against new vampires has uh, been a little scary. Oh boy. Why should I help you? Okay. You know what? We're just gonna drop Bale. <laughs> uh. Or need I kill you again? This is gonna die anyways, so we'll just go and keep getting value. Be nice if I had a couple more veiled units. Nice. I wish I could just keep it. <laughs> going with that. Uh, I guess we have to go Corsair now. Sailed into troubled waters, mate. Yikes. I think we're out. Women, children, elders, we spare none. Dude, holy cow. Alright, go there. Seven would be better. You're coming with me. Wow, look at that amazing. Okay. Work. Yes! Oh yeah, did you see that? Tactical decision, boys. They both went into the veil. We're still probably losing, but we managed to come out. Oh. I mean, Oswald. Oh, no. We didn't work far. Come on, Anirma. Yeah, no, it didn't draw that. Yes. Okay, we'll kick you. Yes. I mean, what else could be better than this? Uh, yeah, we got that, and your man should just be fine. Hold on. But I, I, I think this is totally fine. Let's uh, let's go with this. Very corpses. Activity. Ah, uh, but Morkvar can't hit into. Oh, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I guess let's call Lambert right here. Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Hang on to that charge. We survived the bleed, get it? Okay. Ah, there is no other way. Go here. Oh, I love the smell of a burning village in the morning. <clears throat> be nice if we'd actually be able to kill it. No, we will be able to. It's all right. So we'll go here. No prisoners! Lay them to the sea! Go here. Go here. Not bad. We still lose to Osril. But not bad. Considering. Dude, it's only gonna be. Aww. Oh, go. Oh! A tie? Dude, and we were down a card! Oh, let's go, Pirates! Let's go, Pirates!